Hey everybody, welcome to Rust Admin Academy. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to teach you how to better operate your Rust servers. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing and turn on all notifications so that you get notified as soon as I upload new content. If you find this video valuable in any way, be sure and smash that thumbs up for me. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use a program called Fortify to import buildings and bases and stuff like that that people have actually built and posted on the Steam Workshop and you can then import it from Fortify into your server. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you join the Discord. I'm gonna put a link up above me right here, and there will also be a link in the video description down below. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash srtbull. I'm gonna put a link to it there, as well as in the video description. And at the end of each video, I'll be displaying the names of each one of my current patrons. So if you wanna get your name displayed on all future videos, check out those links. Okay, let's get into how to use Fortify to import somebody else's projects into your server. Fortify is essentially a sandbox program where you can build bases and construct different ideas without actually having to farm resources or anything like that. This isn't a Fortify tutorial, but we're just using this as a tool. So if you've never seen or heard of Fortify, make sure you check it out on the Steam store. And this right here is the Fortify Steam Workshop. This is where people can post their bases that they've built in Fortify so that the public can download them and use these bases as well. They've got it all broken up into categories so you can pick which kind of base you would like to import or take a look at as far as design goes. For this example though, we're just gonna grab something small. Maybe we'll grab a couple of different bases, just small ones though. So the first one that I'm gonna look at here is, let's look at Mega Starter. So in order for us to be able to use this base design in Fortify, we actually have to subscribe to this base design. So we just click on the green subscribe button right here, and now we're subscribed. Once we go into Fortify, we'll be able to import this base design into Fortify. All we need to remember is the name of it right here. This is how it's going to appear in Fortify once we go into our workshop items. But let's go grab another one too. All right, so this base right here, apparently this was built by H. June, and it takes 60 rockets to get into the room. Apparently, I haven't gone inside to look at it, but I'm going to subscribe to this one as well. So we've got H. June tank base, as well as the mega base that we just did previously. Once you're back inside Fortify, you just click on the workshop, and we're going to refresh our list. So the first one that I subscribed to was Mega Starter. So we can just click on the download button right here, and it's actually going to place that base for us. And you can go inside and have a look around. Now that we have our base design inside Fortify, we need to export this information into a format that we can then bring into our server. So on the left hand side here, we want to click on this button right here, Rust copy paste for JSON. And we can set the center of the base right there. And then what do we want to save it as right here? And we're going to save this as Mega Starter, except I'm going to take this space out as it'll make it easier later. So save as, and that has exported it into our Fortify saves folder onto our computer. We will then later import that back into our server, but we're going to get to that in just a second. For right now, we're also going to grab HJune's base. So we go back into the workshop and we scroll down our list here. We're looking for H June's base. And there we go. Now we have H June tank base, 60 rockets. And we're going to download this one as well. And there we go. It has just placed H June's design of this base. So we're going to do the same thing on this. We're going to close the workshop. We're going, we already have this set to export as a JSON. We're going to do save as I'm going to change the name of it here to H June. We'll just call it H June tank. And there we go. Now we have that exported into our saves folder in Fortify. Now your address might look a little bit different from mine, but this is similar to what it's going to look like. Steam apps, common, Fortify, Fortify data, and then saves. And there we go. Here's our two files that we have now exported from Fortify. And now we're ready to import it into our server. So however this needs to work for you now, whether you're using an FTP client so that you can upload these files to your server, or you've already got a locally hosted server, whatever you have to do to access your files, this is what you're gonna wanna do right now. So we need to bring these files into our server so that we can then use them in the game. So now in order to make this work, you will have had to have learned how to use the copy paste plugin. If you've never used copy paste before, I'm gonna put a link to a video in the top right hand corner right now that tells you exactly how to use copy paste. But that is the plugin that we're going to be using in order to put these bases onto our server. So this is the folder that houses all of the information for my test server. So I'm gonna navigate into the copy paste data folder. So we go into oxide, we go into data, and here we go, there we have copy paste. And as you can see, I have a ton of other bases in here. Don't worry about that, that's for other stuff. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these files from my studio server into my dedicated server where my test server is actually being hosted. 
And as you can see there, now we have H June tank as well as the mega starter base that we brought in from Fortify. Now that we have these files in our copy paste folder, now we can go in game and actually paste these files just by simply using these file names that we now have in here. So let's hop in game real quick and make sure that this actually works the way that I'm saying it's going to. Okay, so here we are in my test server. On a previous video, I showed you guys how to import a custom map onto your server. This is actually that custom map. If you never watched that video and you are interested in learning how to host a custom map, check the video in the top right hand corner right now. It'll take you to that video. Okay, so let's test this out and make sure that we can actually paste one of these bases. So the command for pasting is simply that, just paste. And then we want to use whatever file name it was that is residing in our copy paste data file. In this case, we're going to use mega starter to start out with. And that looks just like that. So there we go. We were able to paste that base directly from Fortify into our test server. And it looks exactly like we would have expected it to. Based on what we saw in Fortify, this is exactly what I was looking for. And just to show you that it worked, I'll also paste H June's base. I don't know how much space I'm going to need for it. So let's go over here a little bit and let's go slash paste H June tank and bam, there we go. And it put me right in the middle of it. That's okay. But there we go. Here is the base that we grabbed from the fortify workshop. He doesn't have any doors on here. So let's put some stairs up. Anyway, super annoying base, but here we go. It's now pasted and we got this directly from Fortify, same as the other base, and we didn't have to gather any resources or anything like that. So this is a really great concept if you want to be able to quickly paste in bases for your players to raid or whatever. And of course, you can go in here and fill them with loot if you wanted to and make them actually look lived in so that when one of your players raids one of these bases, it actually looks like a real base. Well, it is a real base, but it just wasn't placed there by a player. But let me warn you, don't paste these bases and don't put any loot in them. If you do, your players are going to get really mad if they spend resources trying to get into this base and then don't end up getting anything out of it. So just a caution for you. So there you go. Super simple process, but I know that there's people out there that are going to have some fun with this. There's a lot of really cool and interesting bases on the Fortify Workshop. So make sure you check that out. Like I said before, I'm going to post all the links that you need in the video description down below. But seriously, have some fun with this. Make, make this fun for the players on your server. As you can see here, I just quickly pasted a couple more bases. These are all bases that I got off of the Steam Workshop. Not on this video, obviously. Uh, maybe I actually built this one because that looks like my door. But maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. So that's how you get bases from the Fortify Workshop and then bring them into your server. And if you think this is something that you're going to actually use on one of your servers, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you're actually going to use this idea. Allow me to take this opportunity to mention the patrons that have already joined my Patreon. I'm super excited. I can't believe it's getting this much traction already. I super appreciate all the support that I'm getting. If you want to have your name shown across any of the future videos that are upcoming, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash srtball. It also comes with special Discord rewards. You get your own dedicated channel where you get direct access to me. You also get your own role so that you stand out amongst all of the other members as someone showing your support for the channel. And for that, I thank you so much for everyone that has joined the Patreon already. Okay, so that's it for the Fortify video. If you want to check out other videos from the same series, click on the videos on the right-hand side of the screen right now. That's it for me. Stay safe, make good choices, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Hey everybody, welcome to Rust Admin Academy. On this channel, I do plugin reviews and tutorials to better help you become a... To become what? What do you want to become?